Oh my gosh, guys, do we have an update in the Julia, AKA possibly Madeline McCain case. So police have officially denied Julia Wendell's claim that she's a missing child, Madeline McCain. Now I'd like to also point out, which I have done before, that Julia Wendell also goes by Julia Faustina and Julia Wendlet. I haven't seen that one before. If you haven't heard anything about it, Julia came on like a storm and created some accounts on Instagram, even a TikTok at one time, claiming that she felt like that she was Madeline McCann due to some appearance likenesses and the fact that she's had some trauma in her past and doesn't remember a lot of her past. She also claimed that there were a lot of unanswered questions from her family, even claimed at one point that she heard her parents say something about taking her. Now this is Julia today, but I wanted to show you some of the likenesses that she has noted. She's noted the dimple that they both have, pictures from childhood. The biggest would be this eye defect, which she's circled in hers over here. She's even compared teeth. I could go on and on, but I wanted to get to the point. Now also, if you don't know, Madeline McCann was the British child who went missing from Portugal in 2007 while on vacation with her parents. I think everybody knows by now that Julia's family did post a statement on Facebook the way that they went about posting it so publicly has caught a lot of backlash and I'm not saying whether I agree or not here because honestly, who knows if they tried to reach out to her and she just would not respond and so they felt like their only comeback was to try to handle this publicly because let's remember, Julia has gotten up to a million followers and made international news with this and if it's not true, this could be very harmful. I'd also like to say that if this is not true, she needs help and I am not encouraging anybody from that's watching this video to send hate her way because even if this is 100% not true, that is not what she needs. And I even have a series on my channel called Crimes Against Mental Health. So if this is a mental health issue, she needs care and compassion from people not being made fun of if she she may truly truly believe what she is saying guys she may also truly know that she is lying and still have a disorder that needs to be addressed with care and compassion her parents putting out that statement doesn't really do it that way but again i just i can't judge one way or the other about stuff because i don't know the full story no in my opinion, nobody should judge if you don't know a full story. So here's the kicker, guys. Super, super important. Julia's relatives showed authorities a birth certificate and photos in a desperate bid to hose down the viral and media firestorm. This is a huge breakthrough because I know when I shared the video personally that talked about the family statement, a lot of people, even I did at one point, said, this is weird. Why would you not just go ahead with a DNA test if there's no problems? And I always said they must have something more monumental to know that she's their child. And if this is true, that they have a birth certificate that is an authentic birth certificate, wow, this is huge. I am fully aware that there's a possibility there could be a fake birth certificate. I don't know what I think about whether or not the investigation should continue into this, but I'm really curious to see what everybody hears, but I really want it kept full in the comments, please. Lastly, I just want to share a little bit more of the parent's statement saying that Julia always wanted to be a singer and model. They stated on the blog and that she always wanted to be popular and that's what's happening now with 1 million followers. We're afraid that Julia will carry out the inevitable. The internet won't forget and it's obvious that Julia isn't Maddie. We're devastated at this current situation. I think it's also important to end on the note whether or not it's true or not, whether or not we believe it, just with some recent news about this. So last year, German authorities said that new evidence connected German native Christian Bruckner to McCann's murder. Bruckner is a convicted, mm, but he has yet to be charged in this case. He lived in Praia de Luz from 95 to 07. He is serving a seven year prison sentence for mm, a 72 year old woman in 2005 in the same area where Madeline went missing. He's also been convicted of drug charges. It was the first time a formal suspect had been named in the McCann case since Madeline's parents were declared such in 2007. They were later cleared of suspicion in 2008. In June 2020, German police said that Madeline is assumed unalive, but British authorities continue to treat her disappearance as a missing persons case.